Hey, is there a doctor in the house? Welcome back, trainers. You're with Peter City Gym, and today we're taking part in the Fakemon Community Collab 2024. Longtime viewers of the channel may remember the prior entries into this series, though it was called the Fakemon Ultra Collab back then. Vigilum and the Intrasquirt line were Fakemon created for this coming together of the community in those prior entries. Anyway, check out the associated hashtag to see more folks taking part in this year's challenge, as well as the linked playlist down in the description. This year's theme is Inversion. The prompt is basically to take a commonly known trope or idea and subvert it in some way. A cat who likes getting wet, for example. Anyone can take part in this challenge. You can see a link to the Google Doc in the description also if you're interested. Uh, stay tuned until the end to see who I tag to take part. As is my tradition, I wanted this to be a critter that fit into Sola, this channel's Fakemon region project. I was racking my brain trying to figure out a Pokemon trope that we don't have yet when it hit me. Uh, illness. Yeah, that's why I haven't uploaded new Fakemon content for about a month. I spent the last few weeks pretty under the weather. Sorry for the wait, everyone, especially Red Paragon G, who tagged me for this challenge. But I'm back up to full health and ready to go now. And I did get a little inspiration from this round with the virus that shall not be named. I need a Chansey or Audino type monster for Sola. The sidekick to our Nurse Joyce. The critter running around the Pokemon Center, taking care of patients and ensuring that health and wellness are a priority. So, let's head on over to the Pokemon Center and see what we can come up with. One common thing I've heard about is the difference between American Badgers and European Badgers. You've all seen the memes. European Badgers are distinguished gentlemen ready to offer you a spot of tea and a bite to eat. Perhaps cucumber sandwiches and Earl Grey. Or mayhap some scones with clotted cream and a cup of Tetley's Finest. Uh, whereas American Badgers are more inclined to chase you down an alley to steal your wallet and shoes. And I get it. Look at this little fuzz monster. He looks like he's had ten too many Red Bulls and then got in a fist fight with a hairdryer. That's the trope as it stands currently. And to be entirely fair, this trope already has been kind of subverted. The Galarian version of Zigzagoon is blatantly unrefined and remains that way throughout the entire line. This is no gentleman. This is a punk. Now, that's not to say punk is a negative thing to be. In fact, honestly, it's awesome. Counterculture for the benefit of the masses, baby. But it's a little removed from that wind in the willows image European badgers generally have. So let's go ahead and design the other side of this coin. I wanted a cute little doctor looking badger. I found the fur patterns on the badgers head to be sort of reminiscent of sideburns, a very distinguished hairstyle. We've got long flowing fur on the back to mimic a little doctor's coat, along with fur patterns implying gloves and claws implying shoes. The colors are very sterile and medical. Light blues, greens, and white. He's a round, friendly looking little guy. The exact kind of Pokemon you want tending to your beloved Pankalese if it's taken one too many Ember attacks from your rival's Doughboy. Couple that with a happy expression asking, so what seems to be the trouble? And you have yourself a nice little doctor. And here we have Meji, the doctor Pokemon. The green fur Meji has growing on its belly is actually a medicinal herb with thin hair-like leaves. It is born with an instinctive desire to help Pokemon and even people who are suffering from medical dilemmas. As it grows in experience, it can treat more dire illnesses and injuries. It's a normal grass type and relatively large for a first stage Pokemon. In terms of abilities, you have Healer, which may remove an ally's status condition, Hospitality, which heals a little bit of its ally's HP when entering battle, and the hidden ability Curious Medicine, which resets all ally's stat changes upon this Pokemon entering battle. All of these abilities are centered around the Pokemon's primary occupation, which is being a healer, and they're all only really useful in double battles. The name? medical or medicine, and it was really hard to figure out a way to have an element of the word badger in there without it sounding kind of awkward and weird. I, I mean, the first syllable in badger is bad, and you don't really want that word associated with a medical professional. So I co-opted the DG sound and finished up with a cute sounding little I for the end vowel. Here are your stats and moves. Lots of helping and healing moves and only a few attacking moves at this stage. It's a lover, not a fighter. Much like its abilities, a lot of these moves are best utilized in double battles also. So, we definitely want to evolve this critter into something, right? Another kind of healer. Something more rare and specialized. So, here's an interesting fact. Wolverines have been spotted in Southern California, where Sol is based. Rarely, but they have been seen here. Wolverines are, of course, mustelids, like badgers are, but they kind of look like little bears with a few canine features. Sometimes they look like Hugh Jackman. That last one, with the, uh, the big metal claws, well, that's where I went inspiration-wise here. Imagine a Wolverine surgeon with retractable scalpel claws. And that's exactly what I did. Big, long metal claws that can retract in and out of the big hands this Pokemon has, but used for the purposes of healing rather than violence. 
surgeons must cut to cure, and so this monster likewise has cutting implements to perform surgeries with. The fur has become something more reminiscent of a surgeon, losing the big long coat, keeping it to scrubs only, but retaining the glove looking paws. It also gets a poofy hairstyle that looks a bit like a cap and mask. I did color the eyes yellow and blue to reference Logan, of course. And here we have Surgerine, the surgeon Pokemon. Surgerine can scent when something is wrong in the body using its big sensitive nose. Its claws are scalpel sharp, and the herbs growing all over its body can be used to heal cuts dealt by those claws almost instantly. Despite being big and brutish looking, it is an incredibly gentle creature. It becomes a steel grass type and quite a bit larger. Abilities are a little different. You may still have hospitality as an option, but if you had healer on your Meiji, your surgerine will now have no guard, meaning it can never miss an attack, but it also can't be missed. The hidden ability becomes sharpness. This boosts the power of slicing moves. Here are your stats and moves. In terms of moves, you get some Steel-type additions to the move pool, of course. Stats are not exactly anything to write home about, but this critter is more of a friend than a battler. Though, I imagine you could do some damage with it if you needed to, and then it would probably patch its opponent up right away. So, where would you find these little fellows? It would be a gift Pokemon given to you as an egg on your first Pokemon Center visit. A visiting nurse would be dropping it off only to realize, hey, they already have enough help around here, why don't you take care of this egg for me instead? You'd see them all over the region in every Pokemon Center, but they'd be a one-off for the player until you reach the breeding center. You'd have to trade Meiji while it's holding a Razor Claw to get the evolved form. That's three of four trade evolutions done, by the way. So, in summation, the trope we inverted was crazy savage American badgers, and we turned them into something gentle and kind. This region's Chansey or Audino. Now comes time to tag people. Tradition is to tag three, so here we go. Oh, and of course, guys, this is entirely voluntary. Absolutely no pressure. Uh, if you can't or you don't want to, you're not interested in taking part, please feel free to skip it. No hard feelings. First up, and this is a repeat tag, so sorry for picking on you, buddy, but Helix Ruins and Relics. Yeah, I tagged him last year when the prompt was duality, and he created some absolute bangers, so we're doing it again. Go check out his channel and drop him a sub. Second is Jacob Does Arts. His Polish region is really cool, and he has a super interesting art style and design philosophy, as well as being an all-around great dude. Definitely a channel you should take a look at and sub to. And third is the Sterninator. This guy puts out quality content so fast it's gonna make your head spin. We did a collab video recently. We're working on another one right now, though I am, uh lagging due to being completely out of commission for like three weeks. But if you haven't seen his channel yet somehow, go take a look, drop him a sub, and I hope that you can take part, Stern. As for me, that's all I got for you this time, trainers. Hopefully I'm back on track with video production and you won't have long to wait for some new Fakemon content. Can't wait to catch you then. Take care. Bye!